How Chokes Work in Electronics and Electrical Circuits In electronics and electrical engineering, a choke, also known as an inductor or reactor, is a passive two-terminal electrical component that stores energy in its magnetic field when current passes through it. Chokes are made of a coiled wire or winding, which may be wound around a magnetic core made of ferrite or iron. Unlike transformers, chokes usually have a single winding, and they are not designed for efficient energy transfer between circuits. Instead, they are primarily used for specific purposes like filtering, noise suppression, and impedance matching. Principle of Operation When current flows through the coil of a choke, a magnetic field is generated around the coil due to the self-inductance property. This magnetic field stores energy in the form of a magnetic flux. When the current through the choke changes, the magnetic field also changes, inducing an electromotive force, EMF, or voltage across the choke according to Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. The inductive property of chokes makes them behave as high impedance to rapidly changing currents, AC, while offering low impedance to steady state currents, DC. This characteristic is useful in various applications, including filtering out unwanted frequencies and reducing electrical noise. Common Uses of Chokes Filtering and noise suppression are crucial aspects of electronic circuits and systems to ensure reliable and efficient operation. Unwanted signals, interference, and noise can adversely affect the performance of electronic devices and may lead to inaccurate readings, signal distortion, or even damage to sensitive components. To address these issues, filtering and noise suppression techniques are employed using various components, including chokes, capacitors, and resistors. Filtering Filtering is the process of selectively allowing certain frequencies of a signal to pass through a circuit while attenuating or blocking others. Filters are designed based on their frequency response characteristics and are commonly classified into the following types. Low-pass filters, low-pass filters allow low-frequency signals, below a specific cutoff frequency, to pass through while attenuating higher frequencies. They are commonly used to remove high-frequency noise and unwanted harmonics from a signal. High-pass filters, high-pass filters pass high-frequency signals, above a cutoff frequency, while attenuating lower frequencies. They are used to eliminate low-frequency noise or DC offset in AC signals. Bandpass filters, bandpass filters allow a specific range of frequencies to pass through while attenuating frequencies outside this range. They are useful for isolating specific frequency bands in a signal. Bandstop filters, notch filters bandstop filters block a specific range of frequencies while allowing frequencies outside this range to pass through. They are effective in eliminating interference or unwanted signals at a particular frequency. Noise suppression. Noise in electronic circuits can originate from various sources, including electromagnetic interference, EMI, radio frequency interference, RFI, ground loops, and thermal noise. Noise suppression techniques aim to reduce or eliminate unwanted noise and interference to improve signal integrity and overall circuit performance. Some common noise suppression methods include Grounding and shielding, proper grounding and shielding techniques can minimize the impact of electromagnetic interference on sensitive circuitry. Shielding materials, such as metal enclosures, can protect electronic components from external noise sources. EMI filters, electromagnetic interference filters, EMI filters, use components like chokes, capacitors, and resistors to attenuate high-frequency noise and interference from power lines or other electrical sources. Common mode chokes, common mode chokes are specifically designed chokes that suppress common mode noise in circuits. They have equal inductance on both signal and ground lines, enabling them to block noise while allowing the desired signal to pass. Capacitors, capacitors can be used to filter out high frequency noise by providing a low impedance path for high frequency signals to ground. Twisted pair cables, in communication and data transmission systems, twisted pair cables can help reduce interference and noise pickup by canceling out induced noise. Ferrite beads, ferrite beads are small, cylindrical components that act as high-frequency noise suppressors. They are often placed on cables and wires to reduce common mode noise. Both filtering and noise suppression are essential techniques in various applications, including power supplies, 
audio equipment, communication systems, and electronic devices. By carefully implementing these techniques and selecting appropriate components, engineers can ensure the proper functioning and reliability of electronic systems in a noisy electromagnetic environment. EMI, Electromagnetic Interference, Suppression, also known as EMC, Electromagnetic Compatibility, or RFI, Radio Frequency Interference, Suppression, refers to the process of reducing or eliminating unwanted electromagnetic emissions or interference that can disrupt the normal operation of electronic devices or systems. EMI can arise from various sources, including other electronic devices, power lines, radio transmissions, and switching circuits. It can negatively impact the performance of sensitive electronic components, leading to signal distortion, data corruption, malfunctions, or even complete system failures. Types of EMI EMI can be broadly categorized into two types based on the paths through which interference is introduced. Conducted EMI Conducted EMI is interference that travels through conductive paths such as power lines, signal cables, and ground connections. It can affect nearby circuits and components by coupling through these conductive paths. Radiated EMI Radiated EMI is interference that propagates through space as electromagnetic waves. It can be emitted by electronic devices and circuits and picked up by other nearby devices or systems that are susceptible to the specific frequencies. EMI Suppression Techniques Several techniques are employed to suppress EMI and ensure electromagnetic compatibility. Filtering, EMI filters are used to attenuate or block high-frequency noise from power lines and signal lines. They often consist of capacitors, inductors, chokes, and resistors, strategically arranged to form low-pass, high-pass, band-pass, or band-stop filters. Shielding, shielding involves enclosing sensitive electronic components or circuits in metal enclosures or using conductive coatings to block external electromagnetic fields from reaching the critical components. Shielding can also prevent internal EMI from radiating out of the device. Grounding, proper grounding and grounding techniques are essential to provide a low impedance path for EMI currents to flow to the ground. Good grounding can reduce the effects of common mode EMI. Twisted pair cables. Twisted pair cables are commonly used in communication and data transmission systems to reduce EMI. The twisting of the wires helps cancel out induced noise between the pairs. Ferrite beads. Ferrite beads are effective in suppressing high-frequency EMI. Placing ferrite beads around cables can reduce common mode noise. EMI absorbers. EMI absorbers are materials that can absorb and convert electromagnetic energy into heat reducing the amount of reflected or radiated EMI. Layout and component placement, proper PCB layout and component placement can minimize coupling between sensitive circuits and reduce EMI generation or susceptibility. EMI gaskets, EMI gaskets are used to create a conductive seal between mating surfaces, such as in connectors or enclosure seams, to prevent EMI leakage. EMI suppression sheets, these are conductive or magnetic sheets that can be applied to surfaces to block or absorb EMI. Importance of EMI suppression EMI suppression is critical to ensure the reliable operation and performance of electronic devices and systems. It becomes even more crucial as electronic devices become more compact and densely packed, leading to increased potential for interference. Compliance with EMI regulations and standards is essential especially in industries where electromagnetic interference can have significant consequences such as medical devices, aerospace, automotive, telecommunications, and military applications. By employing effective EMI suppression techniques during the design and manufacturing processes, engineers can enhance the electromagnetic compatibility of their products and ensure their proper functioning in a noisy electromagnetic environment. Power Factor Correction PFC, is a technique used in electrical systems to improve the power factor, which is the ratio of real power, useful power, to apparent power, total power drawn from the source. A low power factor can result in inefficient energy usage and can lead to additional costs for utilities and power consumers. By implementing PFC, the power factor is raised, leading to more efficient energy utilization and reduced overall power consumption. Importance of Power Factor 
In AC electrical systems, the current flowing through a load consists of two components, real power, active power, and reactive power. Real power is the actual power that performs useful work, such as running motors or heating elements. Reactive power, on the other hand, is the power that does not perform any useful work but is required to establish the magnetic fields in inductive components, example, motors, transformers, and coils, and the electric fields in capacitive components, example, capacitors. The power factor is defined as the cosine of the phase angle between the real power and the apparent power. Mathematically, it is expressed as power factor, PF, equals real power, W, slash apparent power, VA. A power factor of 1, or 100%, means that all the power drawn from the source is being used efficiently for useful work. However, in many practical applications, the power factor is less than 1 due to the presence of reactive power, resulting in a lagging power factor. Types of Power Factor Correction There are two main types of power factor correction. Passive power factor correction, passive PFC is achieved using passive components such as capacitors and inductors. Capacitors are added to the circuit to compensate for the lagging reactive power, reducing the phase difference between the voltage and current. This, in turn, increases the power factor. Passive PFC is relatively simple and cost-effective but may not provide optimal correction across a wide range of loads. Active power factor correction, active PFC uses active electronic components, typically power semiconductor devices like MOSFETs or IGBTs, along with a control circuit to continuously monitor and adjust the input current to match the input voltage. It actively controls the input current waveform to be in phase with the voltage waveform, effectively correcting the power factor to close to unity, PF equals 1. Active PFC is more complex and expensive but offers higher efficiency and superior correction performance over a wide range of loads. Benefits of Power Factor Correction Implementing power factor correction brings several advantages, including Improved energy efficiency, a higher power factor reduces the reactive power component, which means that a greater percentage of the total power drawn from the source is used for useful work. This results in more efficient energy utilization and reduced electricity consumption. Lower energy costs, power utilities often charge consumers based on their apparent power consumption. By improving the power factor, consumers can lower their apparent power, leading to reduced energy bills and potential cost savings. Reduced voltage drop, power factor correction can mitigate voltage drops in electrical distribution systems, resulting in more stable and reliable operation of equipment. Enhanced system capacity, power factor correction can help free up additional capacity in the electrical distribution system, allowing for more loads to be connected without overloading the system. Power factor correction is especially important in industrial and commercial settings where large amounts of electrical power are consumed. It helps optimize power usage, improves system efficiency, and contributes to overall energy conservation and sustainability.